shot. Oh. This area is really pretty. waiting in front of one of our favorite Korean restaurants, Toma, and there's already a line. It's not even open yet. Uh, we've been craving this for weeks. And after we eat, we're gonna check out this Iksondong area. This area of Seoul is really beautiful to explore in the spring. So I hope that we can get a seat because we're like, what, 20 seconds? Yeah. Jeez. Look at this line already. I need a mic because it's super loud and bumping in here. They have this type of rice you can order with different meal sets, right? And they have this assortment of like a million <laughs> mini rice cookers over there. I don't know how they keep track of them all. that I really am passionate about, especially is their macro. Mm. Right? <laughs> Actually, I read an article recently about this place. This place is famous for all the instruments, but these days nobody's buying piano. Why? Not enough Space kids. and no kids. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, I read this article that this like shop owner just have so many pianos, but they just have to sell it in a really cheap price. Oh. Yeah, because nobody's buying. There's so many duck places. This is my place. By looking at that photo, I can trust. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. It's a guarantee. Oh, you want to get some? No, I'm too full right now. Jesus, it smells really nice. I know, I smell bird bacon. in the middle of this little store here. It's very busy today. It's Friday, yeah, that's why. The tourism to Korea has amped up like crazy. I know. This looks to be a hangout for some elderly Korean men playing board games, I think. We found a supposed arcade, so we're curious about it. Uh, it's just like an old uh, electronic shop. Mm. Yeah, this whole building. Oh. 
Sadly, nowadays, people just order everything online. Very true. It's just kind of become a hangout spot. Like I see people sitting in the sun downstairs and like having kimbap and meeting up. Mm. But yeah, I think for the most part, the... Holy... It's a little breezy up here, so we had to bring our mics out. Amazing view. We're a little bit sad that there doesn't seem to be any arcade left. But yeah, this area is definitely elderly man mm -hmm. hangout area. And yeah. they have like a great sense of community. I think so, yeah. I like to see them actually playing Go together. Yeah. That's how they socialize here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's very important. We're going to explore around this area a little more because there's so much to see. But first, we want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor for today, Vessi, who's keeping our feet comfy as we're walking all around the city. They are a company who makes 100% waterproof sneakers, a Canadian company, and we've been wearing them for like three years. Oh, nice catch. <laughs> we have to move the position because the wind is blowing. <laughs> anyway, what's so special about Vessi's is that they are made out of this special material called Dimatex. You can pretty much wear in any weather or any climate. In the winter time, they'll keep your feet warm. In the summer, they'll keep your feet cool and ventilated. And in all seasons, of course, they keep your feet dry. They're also really, really comfortable, super lightweight. Every time we do like one of these long filming days like this, where we have to walk all over the city, yep. this is what we're wearing. And they recently came out with a new style of shoes. The Stormburst low tops are perfect for city walking. And then if you wanted to go on a hike right after that, it's perfect. It's like a hybrid sneaker boot. So before we blow away here, if you guys are interested in giving Vessies a go, we have a link in the description box and you can get 15% off your first purchase at Vessie. So we're gonna go walk around this city a little bit more and I wanna see if we can catch some cherry blossoms. Okay. Because it's still like cherry blossom season. All right. Anyway, let's stop this before the camera falls down. Back down we go, I guess. It seems like really no one's here. Oh. You know, a lot of places are closed. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, it seems like um, it used to be a really bumping place to sell electronics, but these places have clearly been closed for ages. There's a couple of them still open though. Don't your parents still have something like this or not? The stereo? They sold it. Yeah. Karaoke recorders. get a taxi over to Gyeongbok station to save a little time. Can we get a taxi here? Our defense we really haven't walking uh, a lot yesterday today right yep. ever since the cherry blossoms came out we've been mm -hmm. going I mean, over like 10k like steps a day. still walking weather yeah very true All right, and of course we couldn't come up here without showing some cherry blossoms before they fall. So it's cafe plus cherry blossoms. This area is really pretty for that.
we're gonna go check if the location of Scoff is still there that we always used to go to. Cause now there's one in Shinsegae, but we didn't see this one still on their Instagram. So we just wanna check and see if it's closed. And quite frankly, I really love this neighborhood. So it's a great excuse to walk through here. <sighs> I want this house so bad. Yeah, if you live in a Hanok in this area, you've got it made, man. I can't even imagine how expensive it would be to buy one of these now. I'm guessing these were like passed down through like generation to generation, but <sighs> so jealous. Is it? No yeah. way. Oh my God, I see in the window the cookies. <gasps> oh, Lowell's gonna be so happy. We thought it was closed. <laughs> caffeine beverages which we can't handle so we were just like in this neighborhood and we're like i wonder if that location of scoff is still there and they are and they have more drinks for our weak asses so yeah, yeah we learned a lesson in vietnam do you remember that i felt like i was like drunk somehow Ooh. anyway every time we've come here it's usually too busy up here to sit because like this is a humble village right We've never been lucky enough to get this seat. And it's the best seat in the house. <sighs> How would you feel if you woke up every morning and you lived in this neighborhood? This is our favorite, one of our favorite menus by them, by the way. Cream cheese, raspberry brownie. Mm. This is why we have to walk a lot. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have taken that taxi. Oh. Whenever it's like this season, we were talking about this earlier. You said you need less sleep. Like you wake up earlier and I feel more like rejuvenated. I also wake up earlier when it's warm and it's sunny. I feel like I need an hour longer sleep in the winter. Oh yeah, I think everybody does. I don't know if it's a physical thing or a mental thing or both, but I... Mm -hmm. editing day the day that we're about to post this video and we kind of realized that we didn't post a proper sign off we filmed this video that you're watching last week and now it feels like that was like a month ago because of how hot 
it has gotten. I the know. cherry blossoms are like gone. Everything is green. It's gonna feel like 30 degrees Celsius today. It's just like night and day mm -hmm. from when we film this video. But whenever cherry blossom season comes, we get excited because oh, yeah. winters, it feels like really long. So long. And now everything is green and mm -hmm. we're excited to get out and film. We yeah. wanna show more places for you guys and cherry blossom is just like only have like a very small window Tiny. of time yeah and that's if the weather cooperates exactly so we have to like move around a lot yeah. and get all these shots so we kind of get burnt out mm -hmm. sometimes yeah we have fun but at the end of that week we're like oh even if we weren't filming like i would probably still feel burnt out because it's mm -hmm. so beautiful and you feel like you need to get out there and see all these different spots because it's just this one little week of the year you've been waiting so long and like you were mentioning about the winter time i think maybe for most people winter feels pretty long but when you're in kind of like a creative content creation field like us it feels just probably longer because mm -hmm. you really run dry with ideas like we have so many places we want to show mm -hmm. and see but in the winter time it just it's like gray and the trees mm -hmm. are bare it just doesn't do those places justice so mm -hmm. The cherry blossom season is like the beginning mm -hmm. of the end of all that yeah. and we get like excited. I mean, it would be nice if it snowed a lot, uh, then places right. would be actually pretty. It would be beautiful. But it's just damn cold and <laughs> looks all dead, so. March is the worst. I know. It's like that weird in between where it's a little bit too warm to snow, mm -hmm. but it's just too cold to really, really show anything pretty. Mm -hmm. But geez, even a few days ago, like this past week, we started filming our Next week's video, I came awake to show you guys. It's beautiful and very cute. And there's cats involved and lilacs. And it's just, mm -hmm. this is like the season, man. I think Beam was planning to poop. That's what I heard, right? So I guess it's <laughs> right time to sign off. Yes. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.